hello everyone thank you for tuning in to my youtube channel and how are you all doing this very moment i believe great good morning good afternoon and good evening all depending on where you are before i hit the story i would like to thank everyone of us that have subscribed to my youtube channel i say a very big thank you and may god continue to bless you as for those that are yet to subscribe i kindly urge you to do so by clicking on the red subscribe button down below and also turn on your notification bell like that you'll be able to get our latest and newest um, geez, and may God bless you as you do so. There's been a lot happening in this country. It's um, it's really been a very difficult moment for the indigenous people, and I believe at the end we shall prevail. A lot a lot have been trending on social media, and so I came across this um, particular letter that was written by Mieti Alatu or Anezin Dibu. So this letter was written from um, um from Mieti Alatu, the Fulani Social Cultural Association to um, President General Ohanez Indibu. It says, nomination of Ambassador George Obiazo as your successor. Just to let you know that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, in person of Marzen and the Khan, have been right all along. He said the Fulanese are coming, they are coming to take over our land, they are coming to rape our women, they are coming to desecrate, desecrate our land. Now, there's this particular broadcast he made that was on the... Um, he's been saying this in almost all his broadcasts, but there's this particular one he made on um, on the 6th of February 2014, and I am going to quote him. He said, The Fulani Heartsman will be harmed and encouraged to slaughter us with impunity, and their masters will protect them. They are coming to ensure that our people are enslaved forever. Those who do not believe me will soon see it happen before their eyes. They are coming to elevate our Zafulani supremacy, to reposition the security agencies by sacking all competent hands and replace them with their kinsmen to drive their ethnic domination of the Biafrans and other tribes in Nigeria. So this was said on 6th of February 2014. You can go to Radio Biafra app. You can go to um, IPOB community app and look for the this particular broadcast and so you will understand what he has been saying so it's really a very shameful thing for the one is in the bo that mieti allah mieti allah full of needs that are foreigners in this country i give them order on how to live their life they are debating for them um, on how to actually run their own affair. So I'm going to read this letter for you. It states, nomination of Ambassador George Obiazo as your successor. We bring you warm greetings from the Fulani Nation, and we acknowledge your spirited effort in stemming the tide of secession and division being championed by some misguided Igbo youths. We are aware that your tenure as the present general of Ohanese and Debo will come to an end in the next five months. We, are, we have also taken cogni cognizance of the fact that it is the turn of Imo State to produce, um, produce your successor. In view of that, we are closely in touch with Governor. We are closely in touch with Governor Hope Uzodima, and he has accepted our choice candidate, Ambassador George Obiozo. With Ambassador George Obiozo, we can be confident that our interest, which is the protection of um, which is the protection of our over 100,000 herdsmen is assured. As, um, as a corollary to this, we have forwarded your name to the presidency for immediate appointment upon the expiration of your tenure. Accept our assurances of kind regards. So this is coming from engineer Al Azan Saleh Kuba, National Secretary of Mieti Ala Kauta or so this is it it's just um it's 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 a disgrace it's it is a shame that it has gotten this far that Mieti allah are the ones now deciding for the people of biafra or anezen dibu naimodo should be ashamed of themselves for selling their people for a pot of porridge how can how can they how can they even allow this happen the truth of the matter is that the um, that biafrans are going home and there's nothing anyone can do about it what is life without freedom? And that freedom is exactly what we are pursuing and we must actually get. And also, just to let those traitors, just to let those traitors know that whatever they are doing, there's always a consequences for their action. Biafra will come and we shall get our freedom. And every one of them will be judged accordingly. So that's what I have for you today. You can share your comments, you can air your views, you can, you know, make your points. 
Until I come your way next time, remain blessed.